Hey everyone, Sarah here from Get Feedback. Welcome to another episode of Simplifying CX. If you're new to this channel, this series is all about providing you with straightforward answers on the biggest CX challenges that you're facing. So if this sounds relevant to you, don't forget to subscribe. So today we're talking about the effortless experience. Is it really all that matters when it comes to cultivating long-term customer loyalty? I get feedback, we say no, but there's a lot of people that disagree with us and maybe even you. But if you're still on the fence, we're here to help you make up your own mind. Today, we're going to talk about both sides of the argument. First, I'll explain the argument of those in favor of the effortless experience. Second, I'll walk you through the argument of those who don't believe that an effortless experience is enough to build customer loyalty. Most of us first heard of this concept of the effortless experience when the book, The Effortless Experience, Conquering the New Battleground for Customer Loyalty came out in 2013. In essence, the book argues that customer delight, in other words, exceeding expectations, won't bring customers back to your brand. Rather, customer loyalty depends on how easy you make it for your customers to do business with you. The book puts a lot of emphasis on the service experience. In fact, it makes two key arguments. The first is that we pick companies because of their products, but we leave because of their service failures. The second is that loyalty is influenced by many touch points across the journey. Service happens to be one of those touch points and one that is far more likely to lead to disloyalty. So while the findings in this book are solid, for the most part, they seem to be related to the service experience. What about the rest of the customer journey? When I read this book, there was a statement that really caught my attention. It read, the impact of service experience on loyalty is far greater when the customer does not have an extremely strong attachment to the product. Reading this told me that effort is not the only important element in delivering great customer experience. Emotion also plays a key role. Forrester does a great job at breaking this concept down further. Forrester argues that ease, speed, and convenience, which all fall under the concept of the effortless experience, alone are not enough to build an emotionally resonating experience that develops customer loyalty. Instead, according to Forrester's CX Index, a CX program must touch on three key elements to establish customer loyalty. Emotion, meaning the customers feel good about the experience. Effectiveness, meaning the experience delivers value. And ease, meaning it's not difficult for customers to get value from the experience. All right, brace yourself for some supporting data. A 2018 Forrester study found that elite brands provided about 22 emotionally positive experiences for each negative one. The bottom 5% of brands provided only two emotionally positive experiences for each negative one. But it's not just Forrester's research that puts an emphasis on emotion. Customer Think, an independent research firm, found that 70% of emotionally engaged customers spend up to two times or more on brands they are loyal to, compared to less than half of customers with low emotional engagement. This is all to say that although low effort is the foundation of any great CX program, it's not the only important element. Emotion should also be at the forefront of your CX strategy, along with customization and effectiveness. So to recap, those in favor of the effortless experience believe that effort is closely tied to the service experience, which according to them has the most impact on loyalty. Those not in favor believe that although effort is important, the key to actually developing customer loyalty is establishing a close emotional connection with customers. There's a lot more where this came from, so be sure to check out the free guide that we link to in the description section of this video. And if there's a topic you'd like us to cover, please tell us in the comments section. Make sure to subscribe now so you never miss a video on Simplifying CX. Until next time.